Hello guys, during this video we are going to check the activities for the week number 6. Let's start. The topic for this week is nature care, que significa cuidado de la naturaleza. A continuación, pese el objetivo, es que tomarás apuntes y lo almacenarás dentro de tu portafolio. En tu ficha se presentará una explicación sobre el verbo, léela, para que puedas desarrollar las actividades. Aquí también tendrás imágenes que incluyen los verbos en inglés. A. Read and underline the verbs in the following text. Write the verbs and their meanings in your notebook. Ahora vas a leer y a subrayar los verbos que encontraste en el texto, los vas a escribir con sus significados en el cuaderno. Si notarás, te he dejado una pista en el video para que puedas desarrollar con facilidad tu actividad. Ponga atención a la siguiente lectura, te la he dejado a manera de un cuento. Escúchala hasta el final. John and the Tree John wants to build a house next to a forest. In the forest, there are lots of trees, flowers, and animals. There is a lake, too. John takes his axe and goes to the forest. He talks to a tree. I need wood to build my house, he says. So the tree gives John some wood. John's friends visit him and they like his house. John and his friends go to the forest and cut down more and more and more trees to build more and more houses. Soon, there are not more trees. There aren't any flowers. There are not any animals. The lake is dirty. The people are sad and thirsty. John goes to the forest. What happened? John asks the tree. You cut down the trees in the forest. Now the animals do not have food to eat or a place to live. The lake is dirty, so there aren't any fish, says the tree. What can I do? asks John. Plant trees and clean the lake, says the tree. John and his friends plant trees and they clean the lake. Now the trees are tall and have leaves. There are flowers. The animals are back in the forest. There are fish in the lake. The forest is cool again. Everyone is happy. B. Nature Care Before reading, answer the following questions. How do you think that the world will be in 2050? Do you believe there are going to be a lot of climate changes in the future? If so, which changes? Para que puedas ayudarte con estas preguntas, te he dejado aquí unas posibles ideas para que construyas tus respuestas. Te puede quedar tus respuestas algo así. Tú ponlas de acuerdo a tu opinión. Recuerda que este es solo un ejemplo. Let's continue. Continuemos. Read the following text. Al igual que lo hiciste con el anterior, escucha este hasta el final que te ayudará a realizar las siguientes actividades. The World in 2050. Page 16. Scientists already know for sure what will happen in the future. Compare your predictions about the future with the experts' predictions. Were your guesses right? One important change in the future will be the temperature. Scientists say that by 2050, the planet will have a temperature increase of 3 to 4 degrees Celsius. It seems like nothing, 
but it will have enormous effects on the ecosystems. Researchers analyzed greenhouse gas emissions, and not even the most optimistic scientists' formulas result in a low percentage. By 2050, the sea level will be 25 centimeters higher. With higher temperatures, the defrosting process in Antarctica will become twice as fast. The glaciers are going to melt. This will result in an increase in the sea level. Scientist calculations say it will increase 50 centimeters by 2100. Another consequence will be floods. The likelihood of flooding in coastal towns will rise more than nine times. The economic losses will be greater than $50 billion. The growth of the Himalayas will be another change. In 2050, the highest mountain range is going to be 165 millimeters higher due to the movement of the Indian plate below it. The nearby towns are worried about the possibility of earthquakes in the area. Eating fruits and vegetables is going to be difficult. There won't be enough crops to meet world demand. There will be serious consequences for species such as birds. Scientists say that in 2050, 99% of seabirds will have eaten plastic. ¿Qué te parece si continuamos? Let's continue. C. Answer the following questions with your opinion. Which is your favorite animal? What characteristics does this animal have? If that animal could speak, what do you think it would advise you to take better care of in nature? How do you help nature? A continuación te presentaré un ejemplo de cómo puedes llenar esta actividad. Recuerda que aquí puedes colocar tu propia opinión. Si ya has llegado hasta esta parte del video, ánimo, ya casi vamos terminando. En esta actividad vamos a realizar un playtime, tiempo de jugar. D. Playtime. Complete the stop hand game table. Aquí vas a jugar Páreme la mano. Tú ya conoces este juego. Lo que te sugeriría es que lo hagas en inglés si tienes la posibilidad de hacerlo. Para ello, que trabajes utilizando tu diccionario e invita a tus amigos y familia a que te acompañen en esta actividad. Stop hand. Letter. Name. City or country. Pet. Color. Fruit. Plant. Thing. Hemos llegado a la última parte de nuestra actividad de esta semana, la autoevaluación. Recuerda que es muy importante que tú almacenes esta información en tu portafolio. Let's start with the self-evaluation. Did you learn the importance of taking care of nature? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you understand people's responsibility in conserving the environment? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you work? Did you do your weekly work with responsibility? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Si llegaste hasta esta parte, déjame decirte que te felicito, porque encontrarás todas tus actividades resueltas en su mayoría, para que las cheques con tus respuestas. Si luego de ver el video aún tienes alguna duda, no dudes en escribirme por interno que con gusto te ayudaré. Bye bye, see you next week.